You guys know what today is, the day that we have all been waiting for. We are back at SOS Customs today. The FA5 is finally complete. I'm about to reveal the color to you guys. It looks absolutely amazing. SOS is currently behind me just putting on the finishing touches of the car. Today is gonna be an amazing video, so sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video. There's only one thing to do in this situation. So here is the FA5. It is finally complete and we went back with the Fiji Blue. A lot of you guys were asking me if I was gonna go with a different color. Absolutely not. The Fiji Blue is one of my favorite colors right now and especially seeing it completely finished like this with all of like the flake and everything. SOS did an amazing job. All right. Oscar, what What's all up, did you do on the car? Well, obviously, you know, we did all the body work on it, took care of every single ding and dent. Uh, you know, we fixed all your cracks on the plastic, body work on bumpers, everything like that. When we're putting it back together, you know, the paint looked, you know, amazing, phenomenal. But I started to notice, like, a lot of the, you know, Honda, this is just typical with almost every car, but definitely on Hondas. Like, so all the moldings here, we went ahead and we finished it too. The cow as well, we went ahead and refinished it because it was, I don't know, it was supposed to be gray or what, but it, it was just super faded and, you know, dull. So we, we painted that as well. Also, I know I talked to you about it um and I, I just went ahead and got you the best price i could i changed the windshield too yeah because i was like couldn't have you <laughs> we had a huge crack in the windshield and sos was kind of to find yeah. somebody and actually yeah. get me a new took replacement care of that and uh pretty much just everything full disassemble reassemble your headlights went ahead and re-clear coated them as well because they were like peel you know i don't know if you saw mm -hmm. they were yeah, like yeah. peeling so I, we re-sanded them wet sanded them and then put a nice coat of clear coat you know because when you're starting to assemble the car everything looks so good and then you're like oh there's like little this? pieces what about this what about? it's yeah, like yeah. a little mini restoration on this thing so like the car is literally like brand new right now yeah the exterior wise at least i mean it looks absolutely perfect from the headlights to the moldings to the paint it looks ten thousand times better than when i actually picked up the car oh, it was yeah. it was pretty gnarly with all the cracks and the paint fade and everything it was definitely showing its age man but now dude it looks like you could go pick this up on a, off a showroom floor at a dealership. Yeah, you know? exactly. And it's literally perfect. And this is what SOS gives you guys when you come here. This is like literally nothing more than I can ask for. This is absolutely perfect. Lake is absolutely insane on this color, dude. It looks, I don't know if it can catch it on camera, but in person, this is the sparkliest paint I've ever seen. <laughs> it definitely looks freaking wet. SOS absolutely killed the Civic. So the idea for this right now is to make it as clean and as close to new as possible. And they completely executed that. So now that this is done, we have all of the mods that I've just been racking up over the weeks. Cause you guys know I've been traveling. SOS has had the car. So we have a few packages from hybrid racing. We have a package from Aeroflow Dynamics, Fortune Auto. We have a ton of stuff coming for the car. They're gonna go ahead and finish up putting on the window visors, some of the clips in the engine bay. And then we're gonna go to a special spot that we haven't been to in a very, very long time. Oh yeah. 
Thank you so much, bro. It came out absolutely you, amazing. Also, if you guys want to see like the process of this car getting done, SOS does have a YouTube channel as well. So yes, I'll put that in the description sure if you guys want to check it out. Follow, subscribe. Yes. And go, yeah, go check out the video if you want to see the process of them actually completing the car and finishing it and everything because it looks amazing. The car is complete. We are driving it off. Let's go for the first drive after the repaint. Absolutely. I'm so pumped. Oh, I forgot about the shifter. Yes. Oh, man. I missed this car. Oh, I forgot how nice the shifter feels. All right, let's head out to the shooting location. finally made it to my shooting location. We haven't been here in a very, very long time, but I thought since we just picked up the FA5, it'd be a perfect time, especially because the sun is, is out and it's super bright right now, so you guys can see how awesome, awesome this paint is. Before I get to shootings, I do want to take some awesome pictures of the car. I wanted to go just like walk around the car so you guys can see the entire thing and see all the work that SOS put into it. Starting off with the front, if you guys remember, this front lip was absolutely destroyed. I mean, rock chips everywhere. The bottom of it was peeling off and flapping. They have completely fixed all of that, even with the moldings of the front lip too. It came out perfect. And moving on to the side of the car, you guys remember how bad the paint fade was all on the side of the car. That is completely eliminated now and it's so mint the car looks incredible so siding right here and then the rear we had a huge crack in the rear back here on the rear diffuser back here that has now been fixed here's the back this side with the paint fade also all fixed up now you guys have seen the entire car let's go ahead and start shooting and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm gonna be shooting these photos with so for this shoot I'm actually since it's super sunny outside gonna pull out my 35 mil I have a polarizer for this lens which will make it look really good in the sunlight especially with the blue so the Sigma 35 1.4 is what we're gonna be using for this shoot Pictures are done, awesome video shots are done. Let's actually head home and see some of the packages that we got for this car because there is a ton of stuff coming for this build and I am so excited, but we also have a super, super busy like next couple of months. So let's also talk about plans for all the upcoming builds as well. So I'll see you guys when we get home. Oh, damn it. We may have missed one package, which is actually a really big bummer because I know exactly what this is and I was so stoked to get it in today. It's for the Civic, it's from Fortunato, so sure you guys can guess what it is, but I guess I'll have to wait until tomorrow, hopefully deliver it tomorrow. But we do have two special packages here and what is better than car parts? Car parts and protein bars. So we're not gonna unbox this yet. I'm gonna save this for a whole video, but this is from Aeroflow Dynamics. Look what we got in the mail. So one protein reached out and they saw that me and Tiana were enjoying the bars so much and that now that a lot of you guys are enjoying the bars, they wanted to send us out so we could try every single flavor and give you guys a little comprehensive review on, ooh, even a, we even got a shirt. I will definitely be wearing this, but we will give you guys a review on how every single one of these bars are. So we have literally every flavor. We have the peanut butter pie. Let's see, actually here's, here's this. Every single flavor in the one bars and we are gonna try all of them. And let you guys know what our favorite is. But if you haven't tried the one bars, I highly suggest you do so because it is me and Tiana's favorite protein bar to eat. Let's go ahead and sit down and talk about the future plans for the Civic and the rest of the cars because I do have a crazy month. As you 
guys have seen, we have a ton of stuff left to, this is actually pretty crooked here. We have a lot of things to do to the Civic, but we also have a lot of things to do to other cars as well. So I've been traveling a crazy amount, which is why I haven't really been at the garage and you guys haven't seen the cars too much. I just want to like throw that out there. So like, it's not that I don't want to work on the cars. It's that I'm physically not even here to be able to work on anything right now. So um, I leave again on Friday, which is in two days to go to Philly for Tuner Evo, which I am so stoked about. I cannot wait to see everybody. You can use my code Dustin to save some money off your tickets if you still want to come. The plan for this week is to number one, pick up the Civic, which we have done. I guess if you stay this long in the video, you guys get a sneak peek at what's to come. We are starting the WRX air suspension tomorrow, so I can't really do any of the mods that I have coming in for the Civic until the air suspension is complete. We've been sitting on that for a really long time, and now that me and Throttle have a few days of free time, we can actually go ahead and knock that completely out, and the WRX will officially be bagged. I cannot wait for that. It's gonna be such an awesome car to be able to finally drive around now that it's not have to worry about like destroying my front bumper or scraping all the time or anything like that and the fitment is going to be spot on so i'm very excited about that so the accuair suspension is going on the wrx once i go to philly i get back i'm here for a day and then i fly out to utah because i have a new business venture that i haven't really spoken about at all um it is fitness related i'm very excited to actually announce what i'm going to be bringing to the table coming up very very soon i think a lot of you will be excited about it but i have to go to utah to have a little business meeting and do some business stuff for my new business venture that I'm gonna be taking on. After Utah, my plans are pretty spotty, but I think I'm home long enough to actually start doing a bunch of the mods and like even ripping out the motor of the 280Z and taking that to SOS. Like we have so much to do, but it's very, very hard to do it when you're so busy. So hope you guys understand that I really do wanna like get caught up on all of the cars, but hope you guys understand. But I just wanted to get that out there and talk about it because it's been driving me crazy crazy but I hope you guys have been enjoying like the fitness videos and the food videos and stuff like that I still do want to make an updated like healthy bulk what I'm doing right now to gain weight but still maintain like a lean physique a little bit so I still want to make a bunch of those videos but my main focus right now is definitely on the cars and everything so I'm excited to be back and I'm excited to start modding the cars again that's gonna be pretty much everything for this video huge thank you to SOS customs I'm so stoked to finally have the Civic back and actually like nice and I can actually feel good about the car now and take pictures of it because the paint's not fading and it doesn't look like a junker but I'm stoked thank you guys so much for watching I hope you're excited for what's to come I will see you in the next video peace out